Hey everyone, Simon here for the Modern Awakened Perspective, your map for the path to enlightenment. This is my second video of the day for this Thursday, May uh, 16th, 2019. This video is about Nancy Pelosi and her rant and raves uh, after Trump proposed this new merit-based immigration plan. Seems to make sense to me, but of course the Democrats aren't trying to have it. So, before I get into this uh, video fully and tell this story, let me uh, ask everyone to please give me a thumbs up if you like this sort of content, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, I really do appreciate your support. Now let me go ahead and get into the story here. Again, this is about Nancy Pelosi and how she attacked President Trump's merit-based immigration plan. Now today, President Trump will lay out a new immigration plan that will uh, push the U.S. towards the kind of merit-based system that many other nations use to control who comes into their countries. In fact, the U.S. actually had a very strict immigration policy based on merit until 1965 when Democratic President Lyndon Johnson signed the Immigration Act. Now, immediately, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi started attacking President Trump's proposed merit-based plan as racist. It's clear Pelosi and the Democrats are hell-bent on destroying America and they don't like this plan whatsoever. She said it is, quote, condescending, and that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Now, under the proposal, the number of immigrants admitted into the country based on job skills would rise from 12% to 57%. In order to make room, for the more merit-based entries, the percentage of people allowed in because, of they, because they have family here would drop from 66% to 33%. In addition, the number allowed in via claims of asylum would be cut from 22% to 10%. Now, Pelosi and the Democrats don't like this system at all because they need illiterate, low-skill, dependent immigrants flooding into the country because those are votes for them, most likely. It's uh, sad to see that they are willing to see the U.S. get taken down just so they can have a few votes so maybe they can stay in office a little longer and line their pockets even more. That's really seems to be what it all boils down to. They, they need votes and they're willing to do whatever it takes, even it means destroying the country by allowing these uh, illegals to flood over here. Now, those who would come in on a merit-based system are more likely to contribute to society, and the ones that just come over here flooding across the border are the ones who are more likely to, uh, to be criminals and to, uh, to break the law. So which ones do you, do you think would be better for the country? To me, it's a no-brainer. I'm not saying that illegals should be kept out completely. I'm just saying there's a protocol that needs to be followed, and those who do the right things to gain entry are the ones that will be better for the country. So as usual, the comment section is open. Everyone, please feel free to comment whether you agree or disagree with my take on this. But that's the story from my perspective. I'll see you guys tomorrow.